We've already figured out that sound is the vibration of air, but what's the difference between a loud sound and a quiet sound? Well, before I answer that, Larry, I'm going to adjust this machine so that we can see the individual vibrations. Now you can see the dot moving across the screen, and it'll generate a little history of what happened to the air pressure. Sure enough, when Professor Taylor claps slowly, two vibrations were recorded on the screen. And when he clapped twice as fast, the sound scope recorded four claps in the same time frame. To capture the rapid vibrations of sound, we need to make the dot move quicker across the screen. Then I've asked Michael Power here to come and play us his saxophone. Hi, Michael. Have a seat right there. Okay. Michael, could you play us a loud note and then fade it down to a quiet note? As Michael played, I could see that a loud sound made large vibrations, and as it got quieter, the vibrations became smaller. That made me wonder about high and low notes, but Professor Taylor was one step ahead of me. Michael, could you play us a low note, followed then by a high note? Sure. This time, the sound scope revealed something different. If Michael played a low note, I could see two complete vibrations recorded as the dot crossed the screen. Whereas when he hit the high note, I saw four complete vibrations in the same time. So slow vibrations make low notes, and fast vibrations make high notes. That's right. 